make paint you can eat. We made this cool art. And the best part about it is you can eat it. Mm. We're gonna show you how to make it so you can play too. Here's how you make paint you can eat. First you put some yogurt in the bowl. You start with plain white yogurt. The yogurt's gonna be your paint. Then you add flavored gelatin. The flavored gelatin is gonna make the yogurt colorful. Start by putting a little bit. And then stir it. I'm making green paint. And I'm making orange. Different flavors make different colors. To make the color darker, add more. When you swirl, it looks like it's a big tornado. And when the gelatin and yogurt are mixed together, you're ready to paint. You can use your spoon like a paintbrush. Get a plate and then start making your picture. I want to use red. I'm making a blue line. I want to use orange now. You kind of have to pour it out of your spoon a little. And then you can smear it around. Mmm, lemon smells good. I'm making a rainbow. Me too. I'm going to use two lemons to make eyes. Now, I'm going to use red to make eyelashes. I'm done with my rainbow. It yeah. looks really pretty. Thank you. My favorite fruit is blueberries because they're very yummy and sweet. <laughs> now I'm going to add two blueberries for my eyeballs. My favorite fruit is a strawberry. That's why I use them for eyes. I'm using two oranges for cheeks. There's my face. All done. I'm adding more paint on top of my paint. And if you don't want the paint somewhere, just dip it on your finger and eat it. Done. Have fun painting and eating. How to make marbleized paper. We made this cool paper. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a baking tray, and then you need some shaving cream. Just get regular shaving cream that's white. Make sure it doesn't have any aloe vera and no gel cream. Fill the tray with the shaving cream. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Once the tray is filled with shaving cream, you have to smooth out the top. You can use your hands, or a ruler, or even a mixing spoon. You really want the top very smooth so that when you press down your card, it's not bumpy or anything or there's clumps on it. Then you're gonna add your food coloring. I've decided that I'm going to use red first. Think about colors that you'd like to see together. And then drop the food coloring close together. Then you use a toothpick to marble the top. Marble is a sort of funny word because it doesn't have anything to do with little balls of glass. When you marble something in art, it means you gently mix a dark color into a light color. You gently use a toothpick to mix the color in. Once the colors are mixed, you're ready to put on your paper. Don't use regular paper because it will get too wet with the shaving cream. Use a note card or any other heavy paper. Press it right on top of the shaving cream right on the colorful spot you want. When you're pressing it in, you're putting the ink on the card. Don't press it to the bottom, just press it lightly on top of the shaving cream. Then peel it gently out. And then scrape the shaving cream off of the card. Whoa. What's left behind is the beautiful pattern of marbled food coloring. This is so cool. Finally, when you're done, it's gonna look like this. And that's how you make marbleized paper. How to make sand art. We're making beautiful sand art today. We're gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you need a plastic bag, a piece of sidewalk chalk, and some salt. Pour about a cup of salt into your bag. Now you'll need some chalk. 
Pick the color you want and put that piece of chalk in the bag too. Then you zip it back up and then rub. Rub the salt and chalk together. The salt is scratchy on the chalk. It causes the chalk to break apart in teeny tiny pieces. Those little pieces mixed with the salt becomes your sand. The more you rub, the darker the color of the sand would be. Once the salt is the color you want, you can pour it into a bowl. These are some sands we made earlier and we're gonna show you how to pour it. First, you'll need a recycled water bottle. It can be glass or plastic. Next, you'll need a funnel. You put the funnel on the top of the water bottle so you can pour the sand into the funnel and it comes into the water bottle. Now, you're gonna need some small cups to scoop the sand up. Need about a half of these little cups. You can choose whatever color you want. You can do it in a pattern or you can make it random. My turn. Now I'm adding blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I want it to make a whole layer. Now I'm gonna put some green in. Last but not least, some pink. I'll fill about half a cup of it. I'm adding a little bit more so it looks better. Now I'm gonna tilt it to make it even. You just keep on layering the colors you want. And then at the end, you'll have a colorful sand masterpiece. There we go. We'll just shake it a little bit to make it a little even. Can we add a little bit more orange? Yeah. Why don't we add some pink? Okay. This is about to be full. Now you need to put the cap on. And that's how you make our masterpiece of sand art. How to make puffy cloud paint. I love to paint. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make puffy cloud paint so you can play too. The first step into making puffy cloud paint is to get half a cup of flour and pour it into a bigger bowl. Then, you should take half a cup of glue. Then you need four cups of shaving cream. That's about four cups. Then you mix all that together. Important tip, do not over mix. You want the shaving cream to stay light and fluffy, so don't mix super fast or super hard. Feels light and fluffy, just the right consistency. It feels kind of like a marshmallow. It feels like a cloud. If it's not fluffy enough, then you might want to add some more shaving cream. The best thing to do is add a little bit at a time. Once it's mixed, this is going to be your white paint. Put your white paint in each of the little bowls. These will be your different color paints. You mix the food coloring into your white cloud to make it a color. Add more drops to make it darker and less drops to make it lighter. Really stir it good so all of the darker color gets mixed in. But don't mix it too much so it gets not puffy anymore. I think that's about good. Want it to get about this color. And once you make all your colors, you paint. Once you're ready to paint, you want a piece of poster board or cardboard. Because since cloud paint is really wet, regular paper will just soak it up and will rip. So you want a thicker piece of material. You can use sponges, brushes, or even spoons. I'm gonna use some white first to make the little clouds at the side of my rainbow. Cloud paint is kinda hard to work with, so you might want to dab it instead of, instead of brushing it like you would with regular paint. You want it to be as puffy as possible. You should try to layer over layer so it gets more of that little puffy, cloudy texture. I guess cloud paint, when it dries, it feels like you could, your hands could be walking on a cloud because it feels so good. It feels fluffy and so squishy. Make sure it's puffy so it looks like a puffy rainbow, not just the puffy clouds. 
I'm using a spoon now because using a spoon, you can drag it out more. You can always spread it a little bit. It's really great to use your fingers because it's okay to get messy using cloud paint. That's half the fun of it. How to make growing watercolors. We made growing watercolors. It grew from this to this. Isn't it cool? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. All you need is a bowl of water, some paper towels, and some markers. First you need paper towel and then cut it up into strips so that it eventually will look like this. Once you have your strips, you're going to draw your design. Use markers. Draw anything you want about an inch above the bottom of the paper towel. You have to leave space at the bottom for the paper towel to go into the water. I think I'm gonna make a rainbow. I'm gonna try to make an, a, a little illusion. Once your design is done, you're going to dip it in the water, but remember not to put your design in the water. The water will come up the paper towel to meet your colors. It's prettier than I actually thought it would be. I'm seeing the colors just crawling up the paper towel with the water. Look, mine are starting to like almost kind of like merge together and it's like becoming this beautiful like rainbow kind of. Yeah, me too. It might take a little long, but it will turn out well. It's so cool how the colors come together. The water really changes your picture. If you keep holding your paper towel in the water, the picture will keep growing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's so cool. Only a little bit longer until I can hang mine up and let it dry. I'm going to make sure that the water goes all the way to the top of my design. Now we're gonna put them up and let them dry. You wanna try to lay them flat on a flat surface. Like a pan. And remember, while it's drying, it's still going up the colors. And that's a growing watercolor.